everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Have you ever been repeatedly accused of something you didn't do? If so, you might find common ground with today's saint, William of York, who spent most of his life opposed by those who believed he cheated his way into the position of archbishop. William was born in York in the late 11th century. Not a lot is known about his childhood, but he presumably grew up in comfort and displayed an interest in joining the clergy. His father was a powerful figure in England, and it's reasonable to believe that his influence enabled William to ascend to several notable positions, including Archdeacon of East Riding of Yorkshire. William was an Archdeacon from around 1130 until 1141 and was later elected as Archbishop of York. His upbringing must have cast a shadow of doubt upon the validity of his election. However, a number of local clergy immediately voiced their opposition, including the Archbishop of Canterbury. There were rumors that William had bribed his way into winning the election, and considering the wealth of his family, many were willing to believe this story. William, embroiled in these suspicions, could do little to defend himself. It took two years, but in 1143, the case was closed and William was officially consecrated as archbishop. Finally able to carry out his duties, William began making reforms and gained popularity with the people of York, but his struggles weren't over. He still hadn't received his pallium, an archbishop's proof of authority given by the Pope. And unfortunately for him, a new Pope, Eugene III was elected during this time. The new pope was convinced to reopen the investigation regarding William's election to the archbishopric. Then things got worse. In an act of retaliation against the unrelenting accusations, several of William's relatives attacked the Fountains Abbey, which was associated with one of William's opponents. This was just the kind of scandal needed to win over the pope, and in 1147, William was deposed. He returned home, but his behavior didn't give the naysayers any more ammunition. He renounced the luxury he was born into and lived like a poor monk in a monastery at Winchester. When Pope Eugene died six years later, William finally had a chance to clear his name. He appealed to the new Pope, Anastasius IV, who saw that William had been wronged and reinstated him. William returned to his post, welcomed back by a cheering public. He would remain an archbishop for less than a month before his sudden death. Some suspected he was poisoned by those who were still prejudiced against him, but investigations were not conclusive. The miracles reported following his death were far more certain and led to his canonization in 1226. When other people slander us, it seems like a natural response to fight back in some way. William's relatives certainly thought that it was appropriate for them to vandalize an abbey in order to express their annoyance. In the end, fighting fire with fire usually does more harm than good. William himself never spoke ill of those who opposed him or tried to defame them when he regained his position. In short, he did as Jesus taught us and turned the other cheek humbly. St. William of York, pray for us.